Trump fired the FBI director, yeah. and a lot of people aren't happy. Yeah, and a lot of them were calling for his head until he was fired. Right. Yeah, like Chuck. That's Schumer. right. Right. Isn't that right? This, if you could hear this studio audience, yeah. this is a smart studio audience. That's exactly right. First of all, this is my personal view. I don't know why it took him so long to fire the guy. I think he should have been done on the 20th of January. Right. And, and may I ask a quick question? Don't most presidents, when incoming administrations, don't they usually get rid of? The, not former? immediately. Not immediately, but you, as a president, you want, as a senior investigator in your administration, you want somebody that you have a relationship with, you know, that's kind of... Sure. But doesn't the president guy. have to sense. appoint <laughs> up to 3,000 people oh, yeah, when yeah, he's yeah. president? Yeah. And, and fire? 4, he has 4,000. And, I mean, you remember Trump used to fire people? Mm -hmm. You know, you're fired. Well, he has to get rid of... About 3,000 is what I number I heard. I'm not sure the exact It's over 4,000. Over 4,000. Mm -hmm. And he has to replace them. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So now they're, they're seeing the same people that a few weeks ago were calling uh, for James Comey to be, Comey. Comey mm -hmm. to be fired. Mm -hmm. They're now saying that the world has come to an end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the worst thing that has ever happened in America. The, there's a constitutional crisis. They're calling now. I know. And oh, it's not, you know, it's just an act of how the government works in America. And we hired a president by voting. Yeah. And the, he's doing what he said he would do. So your thoughts, well, General? There are a couple of things that have just come out in the last couple of days, uh, last 24 hours, actually, on Comey. One is that he ultimately, the decision was made because Comey knows who was responsible for unmasking members of the Trump administration like Michael Flynn. Mm -hmm. And he won't tell, he won't say, he wouldn't tell. Do you know Michael by any chance? He's, I've known him for a long time. Mm. Is he a good, good guy, he's bad a good guy? Man. He's a good man. He, he's a good man, but he made a fatal mistake when he lied to Mike Pence. And that was, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that was a mistake that he couldn't recover from. Right. The fact that during his recent testimony, he made a statement saying, well, if I had to do it all over again, I'd do the same thing. He said, I would have done the same recommendation in July not to prosecute Hillary, and then I would have brought the evidence forward. And he said, at that time, I had two choices. I could reveal it or I could conceal it. Well, when you got the top investigator in America saying, I could conceal information, that's, uh, that's, that means that you've lost perspective of who you are mm -hmm. and what your job is. You're not a chief prosecutor. You're the chief investigator. Right. You can't hide information. Wow. And I think that's more realistically, that's why he was ultimately fired was mm -hmm. that statement alone said that he was, he had lost touch with what his job was. Right. So I have a question for you, General Boykin. Um, most of the time, we don't hear about people being fired in politics. Usually, I would say behind closed doors, maybe they're asked to resign or things like that. So do you think this was a message being sent that he was actually fired using the word fired in the media? I think Trump wanted to do this in the strongest terms possible. Mm. And you're right. Most of the time, it's, well, uh, we've asked for his resignation. Yeah. He's submitted it. That's what, it, you know. Mm -hmm occurs in most cases. Mm -hmm. I think Trump wanted to send a very strong message. Look, the FBI is so critical to our national security. And, and he's got to put a new leader in there. And I think he was sending a message, a very strong message to the FBI. Number one, because the morale of the FBI is very low. And I think he was saying, okay, all you hardworking agents out there on the street, I recognize you got a leadership problem at the FBI, and I'm going to deal with it straight on. You're fired, Mr. Comey. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to find somebody that can, that can do what's expected of the senior investigator in this country. Now, who would that person be? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who is going to take that responsibility? Well, there are, you know, the news is speculating about all kinds of people, Trey Gowdy being one of them, mm -hmm. you know, but... Uh, I, I don't know. Th this is going to have to be somebody that has, in my view, more than just congressional experience. This is a, Trey Gowdy was a prosecutor. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy, and I know him. 
But we need an investigator, and that's why I think Comey got crossways with him. He's an investigator. We need the best investigator we can find, and somebody that is not going to go off the deep end and become a political creature. And I, let me We've just say We've seen a this. lot of that. It, we've seen a lot of that. And I, quite frankly, all you have to do is watch the testimony by yeah. Comey. And he got a little arrogant streak in him that I think ultimately did not sit well with, uh, with the president. I'm speculating on there, but mm -hmm. I don't think that sat well with Donald Trump. I agree. I, I think it didn't sit well with too many people, Americans who watched those. I mean, I, I watched those hearings, yeah. and I was sitting there kind of just by myself watching them going, this is kind of shocking. Mm -hmm. 